Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Obviously, not for a couple of days, obviously, because Celtic are obviously away to Australia and the World Cup is starting uh, Sunday. I mean, Celtic are no, not in action, FBL action for over a month now. Um, I watched a bit of the game in school today. It was a bit, I think it was a quarter, was it a quarter to nine kick off here in the morning. So it was like, I don't know, eight o'clock at night in Sydney. Um, f I mean, obviously, I mean, the change, I'll quick recap the game. I, I mean, I watched some of it. I mean, with them changes, I mean, it's not in to look harsh on you, it's not letting to look too seriously on, you know, I don't get people are really actually seriously worrying over a friendly, a, a friendly um, Super Cup thing we're doing in Australia. I don't get why that people have that bit on. Yeah, okay, it's, we've lost, right? But the way I've seen Sydney today, well, half of the game, um, they could easily finish in my eyes second in the Premiership. I'm not saying that for nothing, right? You know, suddenly hit back on Twitter and they say, mind the gap, Rangers, because they actually could um, be setting the Premiership. They're actually probably one of the best face ties uh, we've actually faced in the, uh, the whole of the season, the campaign so far. And it's not even a, you know, part of it. It's just, you know, we're away in Australia due to the World Cup being a, a weird time of the year. Um, and another reason, obviously, due to not any videos, just if you're asking, is um, at London, uh, because obviously my prelims are coming up, so I have to deal with the work. It's great, it's not. Um, so I have to do that as well. So if there's any videos out there, you know why. But um, yeah, today we're going to get some news in that obviously uh, mixed reaction. I don't know, mixed um, reactions, mixed questions about if it's true or not. Um, but there are reports from Mark Kenjo on Twitter yesterday that um, Josip Juranic was offered a new contract with Celtic, even though he has contracted up to sell it until 2026. I think people are worried that he's only contracted up to maybe next year or something like that. He has contracted up to 26. But um, sell it what a new improved offer to him. He rejected it as he's now with Croatia to the World Cup. And I honestly think of a lot of people on Twitter, um, I don't agree with him saying he'll probably, I probably, realistically, he'll be away after the World Cup. A big offer will come in. He'll be gone. I just see it. You know, you don't just... You I mean, I'd been really disappointed in... Mm, you know, I, but I was sad about it, right, but if it was in the summer. I mean, big bids were coming, I thought Madrid actually bidded, uh, and then it came out, it wasn't, but I think it was. And a couple of other big clubs as well uh, were interested in the Elf Um And mind, we only bought them for half, was it, was it half a million or something? I wouldn't put five million, I don't know what it was, I can't remember what it was again. Um, but it wasn't expensive, I know that much, it wasn't expensive-wise. Um, and then the amount of money, I, think it was, it was just, I don't know how much the flight will go off, but it would be some profit, you know. Um, so we we'll see. I, I, I realise that it's, he's going to be gone in January, which is still sad. Um, but you will be making a profit on him as well, and hopefully you do. As Anne says, he's already looking for one to mark um, windows. He's already looking for someone. But if he does, if he's looking at your and saying maybe it could potentially go with a big bid coming in in January after all, cup. It depends. You know how far Croatia and you've shown. You know TV how far they will go. In the World Cup, and he's already shown already, you know, how good he is, Josie Branch. He's just not performed this season as well. Um, but um, he will go to a big club. There's no doubt about it. And um, it's disappointing, but if we do the way Ange does, he'll be looking at right back to spend the money on to get a replacement on, which hopefully does happen. Because we've missed Fireball, I've seen him before. Because, but that'll be on the cut now, but that's just Ange way is. You know, he's already looking forward to next summer's window, and it's only November. Do you know what I mean? It's brilliant. We've got a manager like him, he's already planning ahead to the future of the club, which is brilliant. Um, but yeah, Fireball, he's just not been, he's not been up to it this year, I don't know. Um, the summer's just went by and then he came in, he was okay, and then he's just not been up to form. Ralston's actually been the out former. You know, he's been really good at right back. Uh, that's how he's probably kept his place, right Tony Ralston. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Cal McGregor back in the squad as well, he's been training, but that's superb. That is superb, he's back already. Um... And he probably should be. He probably should be ready to go firing after the one. Uh, the I mean, say the winter break. Um, the World Cup break, which ends on, well, we play Aberdeen seventeenth December. So yeah, it's going to be, um, big days for that. That coming up. Um, also all news. I I don't know if I made a video on it. But Steve Cox that unhappy. I mean, come on, that he's and he's not letting the players go who's who are Scottish because, I get that because if I was. The manager of the Celtic and they're going to Australia and Scotland are not going to World Cup. What's the point of taking them? If you went very well, with John Kennedy, I think it was John Kennedy. Um, nothing, nothing will smash. I'd come out of the game. Brought his like, end his career. 
you seriously want can I want that for a Celtic player right now, Carl McGregor? Do you see know, under you know, for like Guy Taylor or see or something like that? So, I mean why would you what? it's a pointless frame against Turkey I mean we lost anyway, but I'm talking yeah, I mean I watched it was fourth. Um but um it's, it's one game that's that's the only game they have. Why was the point I didn't call up? You know what I mean? Um, and you can actually play in Australia, you know, you get the games. And um, Cal Max is looking really well, used to getting back in the train, which is great. Uh, we actually looked alright today in a game, you know, obviously it's not the best, obviously the changes and the amount of changes you had in the squad and all that. But um, players are obviously not being played, you know, regularly. I've seen Secret I don't know, you know what I mean? Um, so I, uh, it was good to see him get a couple of game time, you know, as good. But um, you can understand why the performance was up to scratch and that. Um, and obviously rejecting the coach coming out and all saying that, um, what do you call it, he reports in Japan and all that, saying that the Japan national team are trying to get him as manager. He's rejecting it. He's, he's, he's clearly focused on Celtic, which is ideally great. It's brilliant because he's, as I say, he's already planned the future of the summer and we're planning investing in the squad. So you're going to get that way, what you said a few weeks ago, invest in the squad quickly if you want to do the well in the Champions League next season. We're just nine points clear. We're investing in the club. Look, looks like Levy Amich, Granovic is going to leave after the, the World Cup. You're investing really well. I get what I'm just kind of sort. You can kind of see what's happening, building, build by, but you know, it's um, like a, a pack of dominoes happening. You know, you domino, you know, kind of it's, the effect is happening. You know, um, rebuilds happening. It's, it's progressing really well. Nine points clear, um, which is brilliant. Ideally, brilliantly. Ideally, ideal. Um, I mean, that was ideal with just going, sticking with five. Was it five? Six? Was it seven? Or oh, seven points? Um, I'll take nine any day of the week, and um, and I, I mean the people ask if if you, I mean I'm not obviously not asked out a Rangers channel, but you know people are saying will Giovanni last um the World Cup break? I think they will because I just don't think Rangers have enough money to well first of all pay them off and then you know what I mean get a new manager and so I mean I, I seen shot was it Sean Dykes getting like with the job I mean come on <laughs> come on now. They can't afford to pay off their manager pay Sean Dykes to come up to Rangers, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, we sat good um we put the next game Sunday. If anyone you want to watch it, if you're only staying up to watch it, it is at quarter to four in the morning. I don't know. I, that's just you feel so you feel how you know you feel how Australians feel watch Celtic, you know, the fans over there. Or the you know, you know, that's just phew, crazy times. Uh but they do play Everton, we'll see how that goes. Um uh, obviously uh, Frank Lambert's no, he's not doing too well, Frank Lambert he's so a couple of good results and he's not doing too well last couple of results in the Prem. So we'll see how that goes uh, on Sunday. And then the next game after, I can't remember who else it is. Um, but then that's it. Um, and then you've practically got a month, 17 days after. Well, 20, well, it's 30 something days now. And then if you think next week, so it's, it's, it's still a long 30 days, something days until we see Celtic back in action in the Premiership. Um, even though World Cup is just realising that you're not going to see Celtic for a month actually playing in the Premier League, which is disappointing. Um, but um, we'll see how it goes. No, even like Scotland in the World Cup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, the only hope is that England get put on the group stages or something like that, you know, it's a big embarrassing result. But, you know, um, I saw the news, Celtic news up caught with you guys today. Um, I'll try and get another video out. But as I say, um, with school stuff now happening and all that stuff, I just... I just don't have to find the time now to do the videos. So um when whenever I can throughout the West World Cup break I'll put a video out and then um obviously when we return to action um Patogi seventeenth December I'd finish my prelims so I'll be back full air back on the video so don't worry about that, I'll be back then. Um and then it's Livingston at home and then it's Christmas uh, Christmas Eve game. What a game that is Christmas Eve. Celtic Park what up Christmas Eve and then uh, Christmas and then you've got your a few days after that, hips away, then you've got the uh, Rangers eyebrow set in the journey. That's some build up, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, it's kind of boring this break, but we'll see how it goes. Um, the school stuff's kind of oh, putting us boring as well, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the game against Everton, how it goes from there. But yeah, that's all the news caught for you guys. Chance of news, slightest news from Sydney. Thanks for watching. I'll keep updated anything else. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support.